Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am your host Nadeem Qureshi. On behalf of my organization, SIPD, I welcome you all to our new episode of the program, Education for Life. Today, topic of our program is anger management. Viewers, we all have emotions, both positive and negative. They have very significant status in our lives. It's easy to manage positive emotions. But when it comes to negative emotions, you cannot hold them back. It is natural that they would occur. It depends on how we manage them. Suppose if we take care of a positive emotion, it would just be like taking care of a small plant and that would eventually become a tree. That would not only provide you and other soothing shade, but also some fruit. But if you always keep negative emotions with you, then it would just be like feeding an animal that would someday become a horrible beast. That would not only damage the positive image of your personality, but also make you unpopular among your social circle. Among these negative emotions, anger is one of that need to be handled tactfully. Viewers, occurrence of any negative emotions is only for three minutes. If you manage the three minutes and do not react, then it means you have saved yourself from its consequences. One of the strategies for doing it is to manage, is to engage yourself on something alternative activity, which diverts your concentration. People found this strategy working when they tried it out. But a lot of us do unhealthy things with our anger. The easy way to think about that is, anger is like a child, you don't want to let it drive the car. And you certainly don't want to stuff it in the trunk either. Because anger is such an uncomfortable emotion and highly stigmatized we haven't developed the tool to properly relate to and respond to this fear emotion. <clears throat> when we let anger drive the car, we can become aggressive, name calling, blaming, or even violent. I affectionately call this group the eruptors. And then there are the stuffers. We deny our anger by passing, rising above, or stuffing it. Who? Me? Angry? No, I am not. I am just feeling sad. When we stuff anger in the trunk, we collapse our boundaries, stifle our true voice, shove anger deep in our bodies. Research has shown that suppressing anger creates a wild host of physiological issues that can be just a detrimental and erupting with our anger, like many of us do in our daily lives. In our country, prison are occupied with people who couldn't manage their negative emotions for the first three minutes of their occurrence. 